come to my studio. For the next 26 days, I'm gonna show you how to draw one of the odd animals from my debut picture book, Odd Animal ABCs, written by June Smalls and published by the Blue Manatee Press. So of course, today we'll start with letter A. And in Odd Animal ABCs, A does not stand for alligator, it stands for aye aye. Um, it, for those of you not familiar with this creature, it's actually a long-fingered lemur and a type of primate that's native to Madagascar. It's actually the world's largest nocturnal primate, and it has these really large ears and long fingers that help it find food. And my favorite aspect of it is it has also these really large, luminous yellow eyes that help it see at nighttime. So with that said, that is exactly where we're gonna start today. Um, with our drawing is with the eyes. So all you need for today and the next 25 days as we work our way through the alphabet is a sheet of paper and a drawing utensil. Whether that's a marker like I have here or a pen or pencil is totally your choice. So as I said, we'll begin with the eyes. So I would start about on the top third of your paper and slightly over to the left side because as you can see in my drawing here, we're gonna have him um, hanging on to a tree trunk. So you wanna leave a little bit of space for that. Um, his eyes, we'll make them about quarter size large if you can imagine um, a quarter coin. So start again, top over slightly to the left and draw a large circle. It does not have to be a perfect circle. And then maybe about inch, inch and a half their eyes are fairly close together. Draw a circle of approximately that same shape. From there, we're gonna draw a half circle for the eyelid on each. And then the letter C, this will be the pupil. And then simply come in and fill that circle, that half circle, that letter C, about halfway in. So it leaves a little bit of whiteness to give their eyes a little glimmer. And then about a couple inches down from where their eyes are, I'm gonna draw an upside down triangle. So first start with a line across and then bring it to a point at the bottom. Next, we're gonna draw its snout. So simply a diagonal line from the corner of the nose on this side, slightly in, and again on the other side, diagonal up slightly towards the middle. From here, if you wish, you can add nostrils. Just a couple half ovals on either side of the nose. For its mouth, we'll do a crescent underneath the nose. Again, none of this has to be exact. And then another crescent from corner to corner. Really, you can make him have whatever expression that you want. I'm gonna make mine happy. Um, from here, I like to add some expressive eyebrows. They have a lot of um, long, brown, coarse hair, so a few strands above the eyes and then we'll do the ears of course we talked about how big the ears are so kind of a rounded triangle shape above the eye and then on the other side and then I like to come in and do that same shape just a little bit smaller inside that original ear to give them a little bit of depth and then my favorite part will start to fill in some of the hair so I'm going to do it across the top first this definitely does not have to be really precise. They can be any sort of length that you want. Maybe you go back in and add some taller ones in the center to give them a little personality. And then the same thing on the sides, but keep your strokes pointing down towards the bottom of your page. They could be a little bit longer here, towards the center, towards the mouth, then come back up on the other side, towards the bottom of his right ear. And then I like to add a few little hairs on the chin. And now you've got his whole face. From there, we'll move on to the body. So I'm gonna do a um, curve from the left side of his face down towards the bottom of my page. Not all the way to the bottom, we'll leave space for the tail. So a gentle curve right about to there. So that'll be his body. We can add some hair on later. And then we're gonna do his arm that's holding onto the tree. So I'm gonna do, um, it's kind of a check mark shape. So a little bit shorter towards the elbow here, and then a little bit longer for the forearm. So short line, and then connected to that a little bit longer, hang on to the tree. 
same thing for the other portion of the arm. This will fill it in short line, maybe an inch or so above the original. And then take that out about as long as the other. For the fingers then, they have four fingers. I'm going to take four lines just sticking out from the end of his um, wrist here. So one, two, three, four. Notice I didn't connect those yet because that's what we're going to do now. So I'm going to start at the base of his wrist here, draw the line up, curve it over, same thing here. Again, they can be different thicknesses. It does not have to be perfect. Maybe there's a little bit of space in between to connect them. And now you've got some of his long fingers. Next, we'll move on to um, his leg. So that's also going to be hanging onto the tree here. I'm going to do a curve right underneath his elbow to be his little hip from here to there or thereabout. And then same thing underneath again, maybe about an inch width in between each. Can come a little bit closer here towards his um, ankle. Same thing as we did with the fingers, we'll do for the toes. We'll do four lines out. Don't have to be connected yet. Again, they can be long. They do have really long fingers and toes. And connect them I think to round it over at the top. And make sure you connect that last one. From here, I'm going to go ahead and add in part of my tree. I'm just going to do a straight line down, not all the way to the bottom of the page because we're still going to add the tail. So starting from here at the top, again, if it's not perfectly straight, that's okay, down to the bottom. We'll start filling in the other side here, maybe draw a little bit towards his ear, fill that in, make sure he's actually hanging on to it with his fingers, and there's part of our tree. And the final part, we're going to add the tail. Similar to this curve for the body, we're going to take a curve around the bottom so it also wraps around the tree. They have these really bushy, um, hairy tails. So that's going to wrap up and around. And then we'll fill in the other part of it here. Same thing, up and around. And then from there, if you wish, you can start to fill in some of that hair, maybe some of it on the tail itself do some on his legs, his elbow. You can start to add some other details as well if you want to do some branches um, from your tree with these. You can get creative with this part here. Um, and then final touch, I like to add a few little hairs coming off of his ears. Again, gives him a little bit more personality. So there is your eye eye for today and uh, next time we'll do letter B, so check back in for what odd animal um, we'll be drawing for letter B.